What's up, guys? Welcome to part two of covering a kit fox wing. Okay, and in video number one, we actually got the uh, the top of the wing already covered. In this video, I'm just going to show you a couple steps, the final steps, to uh, finish up the uh, top side and get ready for the bottom side of the fabric. Um, you can see in the video what I'm doing is just basically making my lines and trim cuts at the root end of the wing. I'm using Polytac to lay that in. Uh, you want to wrap the fabric into the root end just like here. And the reason for that is anytime you wrap around a certain component, you just make the fabric bond stronger. So we wrap around, we wrap around the leading edge, the trailing edge, and also the root end. Okay, the uh, you want to lay the fabric into wet glue. We talked about that before. Um, you can see that I'm using my fingers to work it in, and then I switch it up to a squeegee just to really uh, get the fabric in its place um, and glued down. Uh, after that, you trim the rest of the root end and you do the same thing. Draw your line, trim it, lay some glue, and lay the fabric into the cement or the glue, which is polytac in this case. After you're done with the root end, okay, you go to the other side, you do the exact same thing. The other side doesn't have the, the uh, wing tip yet, so you're going to do the exact same um, procedure. Trim it, cut it, um, and then glue it in, and you're done with the root end of the wing. The very next step is to get ready for the second layer of fabric. So what we have to do is basically get the leading edge smooth because you're gonna have, you're gonna have an overlap of fabric overlapping fabric, and you want that to happen over a smooth uh, surface. So we're gonna go ahead and take the iron and shrink the fabric just over the leading edge area. Okay. And we're going to set the iron to, to 350. Okay? You can do it at 250 if you want, but anytime you iron over a hard surface, the hard surface will draw some, some of the temperature, and it's a really slow process. It takes forever. So I just went ahead and crank it up to 350, but I'm only going to shrink, once again, just the leading edge area of the wing. I'll leave the rest of the fabric alone um, and do the final shrinking later on down the road when we have the wing completely covered. And so that will be on the next video. But for this video, just check it out. We'll go ahead and flip the wing and I'm going to shrink once again 350 just on the leading edge of the wing.
once you've done that and you have a smooth surface uh, on the leading edge then the very next step is to start covering the bottom side of the wing um, that's pretty much it for this video we'll get into more details and start covering the bottom side of the wing on the next videos if you if you like these videos uh, don't forget to push the like button and please subscribe and we'll keep you updated with uh, the covering process of a kit fox wing thank you guys